All right, this is a video I'm using a TDR to measure cable lengths. And uh, what we're looking at here is a fast pulse generator or TDR, originally designed by W2AEW. And he talks about it on his uh, YouTube channel, on the original design. And then a ham out there with the handle EA5IGC created this uh, PCB equivalent that you can purchase and then purchase the components and solder it all together and you'll have uh, a nice functioning TDR or fast pulse generator. And um, what we're looking at here, it's connected through a uh, three-way connector into the channel one of the oscilloscope through a 50 ohm terminator. This is a 50 ohm output TDR. Um, and then on the scope, there's a square wave with a um, amplitude of two volts. I am feeding this with four volts DC from an external power supply. So we've got a two volt amplitude from zero volts to two, square wave with a frequency of 2.2 kilohertz and a rise time. Let me expand this out so we can see their actual rise time. Rise time of two nanoseconds. So that's a fast pulse and it's very useful for doing things like measuring cable lengths. So let's uh, show how that works. I've got this cable here uh, that's five feet long and I'm gonna plug that into this other connector on the three-way. So the pulse is then going out into this cable. It's not terminated and then the signal comes bouncing back. And um, by using cursors here, we can see when that signal rises back up and we will measure the round trip time of that initial pulse out of the pulse generator and use that difference in time, that round trip time. Uh, let's see, that is delta X of 15.2 nanoseconds. So 15.2 nanoseconds. And I have a spreadsheet here just to make it easy to determine the length based upon the round trip time. 15 nanoseconds, depending on the velocity factor, uh, which is basically a reduction in the speed of light and uh, moving through the cables, uh, it's anywhere from 4.8 to 5.2 feet long. Um, I think there's a, it's common to have velocity factors of about 0.68. So um, it is indeed showing us the right cable length based upon that that uh, round trip time. Uh, the other thing we can do is I have here just a spool of two conductor cable with an unknown length. And I'll just insert that into this connector. And let's see if we can uh, measure the round trip time here and see what the um, length of this cable is. So once again, move the cursors, is the initial rise, and then here's the reflected rise. Um, the difference is uh, 226 nanoseconds. 226 nanoseconds. Come back to my spreadsheet. 226 nanoseconds, say 225. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of 71 to 77 feet. So it's about a 75 foot long spool of two conductor wire. So there you have it. Uh, useful um, little device. And uh, let's see, you can pick that up on, um, on this website. This is... Um, dirtypcbs.com and uh, look for this you'll get the you're able to order the um, PCB and then it's using a Schmidt trigger a 74 AC 14 Schmidt trigger um, and a bunch of resistors uh, capacitor an LED uh, variable resistor there's not much to it so it's uh, easy to assemble and uh, 
you'll have yourself a nice device with a two nanosecond rise time to do things like measuring cable lengths. All right. Thanks for watching.